Good morning, beloved of God. Psalms Monday. Don't be jealous. Nancy, just uh, read along if you'd like. Psalm 115 is our invitation to be in devotion together, dwelling in God's Word uh, as we share Christ in our home. Psalm 115, let's uh, get going there together. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness, why should the nations say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but do not speak, eyes, but do not see. They have ears, but do not hear, noses, but do not smell. They have hands, but do not feel, feet, but do not walk. They make no sound in their throats. Those who make them are like them. So are all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth has been given to human beings. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any that go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time on forevermore. Praise the Lord. Let us bless the Lord uh, by sharing this time of devotion in Christ in our home. If you have there, want to read along, Following False Gods is the title of our devotion from Monday, February 7th. Inviting our focus to the fourth verse, Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Here a devotion. The one who dies with the most toys wins. So says the bumper sticker on the fancy sports car, whose price could feed and house two families for a year. The slogan captures a prevailing idea in the culture in which I live, that life's main objective is to accumulate as much stuff as we possibly can. Sometimes there is a temptation in that, isn't there? In ages past, people worshipped false gods in the form of gold and silver idols, dead gods that could not hear or speak or be in relationship with us. Today, people still worship false gods of silver and gold, money and things it can buy. People of faith know that while silver and gold are necessary to live in this world, they don't trust in money's promise of power and security. Instead, we cling to the one true God who hears our prayers, whispers to our souls, and loves us unconditionally. We know that our life purpose is to accumulate treasures not on earth, but in heaven. After all, the one who dies with the most toys leaves all those toys behind. Pray with me, won't you? God of abundance, teach us to trust always in you, not in the false gods of silver and gold. Amen. And as this day unfolds before you uh, here, be invited to pray for financial advisors, and God continues to hold you uh, as you bless God by blessing others. God bless you. Be warm, be well, and we'll look forward to our week in devotion together.